Oh, my name is Matt. I'm making the vegetarian version, believe it or not, of the pot stickers. This is extra firm tofu, and basically you take it and you put it in a strainer, put a plane on it, and weight it down to get as much liquid out. And then you just uh, break it apart with a fork. If you've ever been in a, um, a co-op in Berkeley, you might recognize what this is. Non-animal protein. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what it is. <laughs> this is all for one person at our party, right? For Judy. It really is, isn't it? Yeah. But they're going to be delicious anyway, I guess. I'm not going to eat any, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Uh, so I'm going to add some of the some of the other vegetables, uh, green onions, uh, carrots, and then this is wood ear mushroom. If you've ever seen like a log when you've been hiking, it's those little mushroom fungus that grow on the side and they come dry. Yeah, we definitely picked it up. <laughs> Good thing you brought those rollers. <laughs> this is uh, white pepper. Uh, this is rice wine, Chinese rice wine. Black sesame oil. So I gauge the flavor by tasting it. What are you looking for? Uh, if it's delicious. And if it's not delicious, then I add more things to make it delicious. <laughs> Gently salt. <laughs> or, or sometimes uh, pork, which is, uh, makes it more delicious. Right. It's the other vegan thing. <laughs> so I guess the main thing is to cut everything fine enough to get it. So part of the problem with uh, doing a vegetarian dumpling is it sometimes falls apart. So if you get everything fine enough, you can kind of see how this is starting to bunch together and it has enough sort of oil that kind of keeps it together. So and that's done.